New addition to the Oval Office is getting a lot of attention. It's a bust of civil rights activist and labor leader Cesar Chavez, and you can see it there, right behind the president. Kern County had that bust, but sent it to Washington at the request of the White House. NBC4's John Caddis Klimak has reaction from Chavez's son. In the room where it all happens, behind the historic Resolute desk, a prominent display of a prominent hero of American history. We were just as surprised as everyone when we saw the place that they had uh, placed it. Paul Chavez, son of the late labor leader Cesar Chavez, says it all happened very quickly. A phone call Monday, shipping on Tuesday, and then the surprise placement on Wednesday. I did not know that it was going to be right behind him. And um, to be honest with you, I cried. Teresa Romero is the president of United Farm Workers, the union Chavez helped create for better working conditions for California farm workers in the 60s and 70s, a symbol of the immigrant struggle and the laborers' fight for fairness. To me, this is a representation that we have a seat at the table. Dolores Huerta was at Chavez's side for much of his activism. It gives us that dignity that we deserve. She says the symbolism isn't lost. The most powerful person in the world, the president of the United States of America, would have the bust of one of the most poorest, the most humble persons in the world, Cesar Chavez, someone who had committed his entire life to helping poor people, especially the farm workers in the Latino community. I thought that was a very, very strong message that the president sent out to the world. Chavez died 27 years ago, but the foundation he left behind believes his hopes for what could be have found a new dreamer to carry the torch. The work has just begun. Now, now comes the hard task of, of ensuring that uh, that legislation is passed and that people are treated fairly and, and justly. And and we look forward to this next adventure. John Caddy's Klimak, NBC Four News.